Right, hello everybody. Welcome to my second Rebel World Cup match. Um, I won the toss, decided to kick against Dwarves. Now, Dwarves were a strange choice for this format because uh, the format limited duplicate duplicate skills. So normally they would want, you know, four guard and a block guy, but now, or three guard and a mighty blow, but probably four guard. And they get a bit screwed with that. Um, all I had to do was change dodge for wrestle. Um, but he does get an extra skill because he got he got to buy reserve, and he got juggernaut here, mighty blow here, a couple of guard, a dirty play. I mean that should have been wrestle. He, he, he this is just flavour because his his team has never forget the fun with like uh, players like thank you and enjoy and stuff. So it, that was a fun pick. Um, he 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 admitted. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's the the problem with dwarves in this, in 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 particular, in the rebel, it is it is res. Um, but yeah, this the skill package was. You had points. You had TV, and points for your skills. So I actually didn't use all of my points, um, because wrestle is a tier two skill, um, and so is tackle. <laughs> so I didn't use all of my points, but. Um, you know, I don't really care about using all my points to that because it was just a standard team. It would have been better if I could have had two dodge, I think. Though not in this game. So actually in this game, it was probably better to have wrestle than dodge. So yeah, so he's he's committed to knock the tree over, which has given, him, given me prime opportunity to split his team in half, hasn't it? Uh, it's not that you can't have duplicate, but basically if you have like the same skill twice, it costs more for the second skill. And the same for the third skill, so... He, he, I think he could have had three guard and block, but he only had four skills then. So he decided to not to, to get the mighty blow and stuff. Um, so yeah, he, you know, he got a removal turn one, fair enough, armor seven. Um, Lucky the tree stood up because obviously the tree was. I did the tree first so that if the tree hadn't stood up, I may may not have gone so aggressive. But obviously, I'm going to go aggressive once he's once he's stuck four guys on the tree. Basically, would love to knock down there, but never mind. Maybe I should have dodged him out at the end. Actually, thinking about it now. Because I, I know I know this guy comes to here. Maybe this guy should have dodged away at the end. Yeah, so it was. No, so. He, I don't like this because he's he, he's he's ending base, isn't he? Whatever he does, if he if he powers me, he's base, and if he both downs, he base. So I thought that was, I thought maybe he shouldn't have blitz with mighty blow there. Um, and to be fair, I thought if I base him, he might use two to block him, which is exactly what he did. Which maybe he shouldn't have done that. Maybe he should have, you know, moved that those. So maybe I did right to get him blocked, but maybe not. I guess we don't know. So he knocks these three down, but I, I've still got a lot, a lot on him there. He's got what? Three, six, seven, and I've got three, six, seven. So we're basically in an even, even money fight here for the ball. I thought I really wanted to tag this guy, but then I'd get served, so that was a problem that he got. You know, although I based the ball with Blodge, um, maybe I should have based more people. And maybe I shouldn't have done this one dice. Maybe I could have tried to get more stuff around the back, but then knocking him down is pretty good, isn't it? And he just randomly dodged away to not go very far. I guess hoping that I'd strand these guys a little bit. 
Mm. Maybe he should have tried to base over here. I don't know. We'll see. See what happens. Can't second guess everything, can you? But. I was giving up a lot of hits here. And yeah, he, the fact that he got that. Gets two dice from the dance with tackle. I was I felt bad about that. <laughs> but still, the fact that he didn't pick up the block one is good for me, isn't it? So now I'm 50% to knock him down if I get a one dice. I think I roll I went I went to roll some dice here. Um three plus to push him means that I get one dice on the ball. I mean that's pretty aggressive, isn't it? Then I rolled a one on the dodge, and I, do you know what? Looking back, because he had tackle, I should I shouldn't have stacked the blitz. I should have done the dodge, and once I knew I didn't have a reroll for the hit, I probably should have hit the the troll slayer. I think that's definitely what I should have done. But I mean, I was obviously unlucky to roll a one on the dodge and then a one on the hit. Um, but yeah, I think I shouldn't have stacked it. I should have declared the blitz, done the dodge, because I used dodge, hit the troll slayer. So that. Um, yeah, even yeah, the catcher. I don't know if the catcher had the movement to go there or not. But if yeah, I mean, here or here would have probably been better than where I put him. But, uh, that was that was a bit unlucky that turn, wasn't it? But yeah, maybe I, maybe I could have hedged my bets with that with that blitz. And at least at least the the, the dirty player has the ball, so he's not going to foul him. Unless he's an absolute madman. So nearly everyone's on the ground. <laughs> trees, trees rooted, but at least it's it's a one for one keeping him out. Oh yeah, pushed him into the tree. That was nice, wasn't it? And I didn't. I didn't dare block with the tree because I just thought I don't want to push him away and not be able to follow. And so the tree, the tree, <laughs> barely did anything this half. Leaping away because he had tackle. So that's all right. I recovered into kind of some kind of formation there after the after going a bit mad to try and get the ball. Maybe he could have tried to blitz the dancer and push forward, but it wasn't easy for him to push forward. It's turn five now, and it's it's not easy for him to push forward, is it? At any time. Okay. So, like... Basically, um... Yeah, although <laughs> maybe maybe he shouldn't have committed to hit the tree like he did. Um, I think all the tree did was stand up twice, didn't he? This half, it just literally stood up and then stood up again. So I went for the one dice on the ball. I was trying to think of some way I could do things to get a two dice on the ball, but just use the re-roll. Killed him. <laughs> Not bad. And then I didn't dodge. I couldn't get away. It was, so I, I thought I was bad, actually. I thought I was bad for staying on the sideline there. But it would have been two GFIs without a reroll to get up here. Um, and I thought, and it was really risky. If I failed to pick up there, I get surf and don't have the ball. But I, I'm thinking here that there was ways I could have done like this one down. There was ways I could have tried to get two dice on the ball, but obviously I got really lucky getting the one dice power and the and the kill. Obviously, incredibly lucky there. Um, I really wanted the power here. I think if I'd got the power there, I could have blocked him with two dice, and then I could have maybe dodged him around, and I might have been able to somehow protect against the war dancer getting surfed. But um, it was bad times, wasn't it, really? Bad, bad times for this dancer, but I, I I was thinking at this point. Look, if he gets served, um, then at least the ball throwing is probably going to be better for me than him, because he's only got this guy really who can score. 
So. Yeah. I mean, maybe he could have done something here and then pushed, pushed the dancer into there. And then hit to try and keep it in. Maybe, maybe he should have tried to keep it in rather than surfing. Maybe he should have. There are, yeah, the chaos are mounting up now, yeah. Four, four guys out now. <laughs> I guess the surf. Splattered. And the ball is actually the worst possible throwing. <laughs> Although it's a good distance on it. Worst, worst direction. Good, very good distance. I guess the worst one would have been like about here or something, wouldn't it? But the distance was, uh, was good for me, for sure. He fails that 50-50 dodge. He made a 30, he made a 33% dodge before that. Now, I know what I did wrong this turn. Um, I know what I did this turn. I moved this guy as a scoring threat and I moved this guy over here and then I went for the recovery of the dancer. What I should have done is the dancer should have been here as a two-turn scoring threat. For some reason, even though it was turn six, I thought I had three turns after this. So I, I, I just made an absolute mistake here. Um, yeah, he should have run back to get it next turn and the dancer should have, uh, should have like run away to here or something. But, um, got the ball. But he just can't score himself now. That's that's the problem. So I'm 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 the potato is going to be on a catcher now. He, he, both catchers can score in two turns, but really that should have I should have not picked up the ball and had the had the dancer here somewhere or him even. One two three four five six seven eight. The dancer could have been here, and then I could have just simply picked it up, handed it off to him, and then run down with a dancer, but never mind. Another KO. <laughs> like, it's funny though, but I mean, I've still got the one Kaz of the game on, on a pretty important player, but all these KOs are certainly mounting. Right, Grey Fox. Uh, <laughs> um, we'll have to reschedule, and if 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 AD English wills it. <laughs> um, right. So he does the pass there. I had to reuse the reroll law, and then I've made a little sideline K. I have to do these without the reroll. I mean, a, t a horrifying turn. I've got four L's on the pitch. One's as a, a pseudo scorer. I mean, he is a potential scoring threat, and the other three in a sideline cage. But, like, isn't it ridiculous that with all these KOs and uh, and the opponent's drive, <laughs> and the L's are like, what up? We've still got a tiny chance. But, I don't know, I, I do feel like because you know his, his tackle guys are just too slow, aren't they? Whereas he could still block. I couldn't potato with the. I had to protect the air catcher. I couldn't just run him down unprotected. Whereas the war dancer could have just been stood there and taken two dice and been all right. Couldn't. One dice. One dice pal there. So he walled off here. He should have. I mean, so he failed the second GFI anyway, but he probably he probably should have gone one, two, three, four GFI, GFI with that guy rather than uh, the other way, or maybe here. But that was a pretty crucial, a pretty crucial GFI fail. Maybe he shouldn't have even gone for that. Um, I guess I would have had the leap anyway. But he maybe he shouldn't have gone for those GFIs, or maybe not the second one. 
because that gives me the run around. One, no rerolls. One dice. Pow. <laughs> and uh, now to roll some dice with a catcher. Glorious. Glorious. <laughs> I mean, I was really lucky. <laughs> really lucky to get that, obviously. Um, in the end. <laughs> really lucky. Only two out of six come back, though. No, only one chance to get the KO because it was uh, it was his drive. So, uh, so yeah, only two come back. So with three, four, five, six, seven L's on the pitch, could have just counted these. Seven L's on the pitch, but both good ones this time. And, <laughs> and he's still an eleven. So even though I killed that guy, he's still an eleven, and it's still probably the eleven he would field on defense anyway. So. So yeah, that's. So here, <laughs> I make maybe the wrong decision to just go for a fast touchdown, because looking at his setup, right, he's got a tackler there, tackle here, tackle here. I mean, this is frenzy, of course, but he's only got two tacklers. So I think if I just, seeing as I didn't go with a with a war dancer potato last time, I'll go with a war dancer potato this time and see if it works. And if this block had been a pow, it would have been all right, I think. So riot, very good for me. Open with a three D, well, no. Now this was this was one. This this was really bad because this the, that. So I pushed to there. If I'd pushed to here, I would have needed a pow on this blitz. But by pushing to there. Even if I, I need a power, I, need, I, know, I can power here and then dodge through there. So actually, it's all right. But I need a power there so much. Whereas, and I guess I would need a power anyway. Even if I pushed him to there and pushed him to there, it would still be a 3 plus 2 plus without dodge. Whereas this way, if I get the power, it's still just a 2 plus. So, so yeah, I just went full, full in Aryan here, as it were. Um, trying to score as fast as possible. Now, did I have to go quite as crazy as I went? Maybe not, but I just didn't have many very. I didn't have very many players. Lucky Kaz there, randomly. Like I did not have many players, so I just thought, "Fuck it, let's run forward, see what happens." So the plan was to get a pow here, then dodge him through to guard over there, and then I only got the push. And then because I'd pushed this guy here, it was just horrible, wasn't it? So I went around this way and stood there. But maybe I should have uh, maybe I should have tried the GFIs to go there. I could have made two GFIs to stand here. Maybe I should have done that, actually, in retrospect. But I thought this guy could mighty blow me. Uh, but yeah, I guess looking at it, I could have, should have tried the two GFIs, shouldn't I? Because this was like... This is like four dice, six dice on the ball here, isn't it? And and both downs give him another chance to hit. So this was really crazy of me to give him to give him the the juggernaut hit on the ball. So I I really should have made the GFIs there, for sure. Yeah. So I, I've <laughs> luckily though it gets in the tackles on this guy. Now I don't like his play of the runner here because he's still losing one nil. Now, now moving this down is the right play if he wants to try a win, but realistically, he's got he's got he's been turned over on offense. He's got to be happy with a draw now as dwarfs, I think, and I think he should have absolutely, um, you know, tried to just try to get him in the mixer. But instead, he goes for the the book wild passing play, which thirty percent to intercept because of catch, even though he's marked. <laughs> he does an inaccurate pass. Into the crowd. <laughs> Back for the throw. Pretty funny. Um, 
So now uh, I get to try again with a little bit of a screen. This is horrible though. It's still actually ho horrible because I use my rear on the first action. And like everything, you know, this is... It's got dodge, sure. But it's still a 3 plus 1 in 9 to just end the turn. And if I end the turn there, he can he can blitz and pick it up and, and make it 1-1 one, one or go for the win. So it was a pretty scary turn. So I could have dodged out there, but... It's two plus without a reroll, and it wouldn't get two dice on this guy anyway. So in the end, I went for the the one in nine on the uh, on the catch rather. So I thought because I thought at least if I fail the catch, it's not as bad as if I fail one of these dodges and just do nothing. And then again here, it's like it's just failure state. Well, it, it's actually better odds as well because it, it's one in nines, isn't it? Um, but also a failure state. And then into it. I mean, this already is a little bit of a cage, isn't it? Especially against things as slow as dwarves. And then the last dodges was able to shore it up. I mean, I, <laughs> I didn't really get lucky making the dodges, but it wouldn't have... It, they weren't so crucial as they could have been. But still, still nice to make. I mean, this, 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 these were all crucial. Like, you know, the handoff. The pickup and the handoff and the blitz were all pretty crucial, but... The last two, I might have survived if they'd failed. Now here he just doesn't have the men, does he? These guys have got to make a bunch of GFIs back to, to cover. But instead he just hits the tree for no reason. So really, one, two, three, four, five, six. You should have, you could have double GFI'd back there to tag him. Or maybe blitzed him and tagged him. But um, in the end, it was pretty easy just to blitz this guy handoff score. I thought that was the safest way of doing it. Like, I would have I would have been good if it had failed. But, uh, and base in case it goes wrong. And base on a handoff in case it goes wrong as well. So I, I tried to minimise the failure state as much as I could. I ran to one square short and thought about seeing if I could stall, but then quickly realised that was completely fucking stupid. Um, and scored. <laughs> so yeah, 2-0 two, two it's over, isn't it, against uh, against Dwarves, really. There's no way it's going to come back. Um, and then the Chaos came back. So at this point, we've got even attrition now, bizarrely. In dwarves versus what else? So while it was it was really painful to be down men a lot in the first half, and uh, the, f the second half at the start, we end up now with ten aside, which is absolutely crazy because he's armor nine with a reserve and I'm armor seven <laughs> against a team full of block with a mighty blow guy. So yeah, I, I was maybe I should have even pushed for the three nil here um, with touchdown difference being a factor so um, yeah You've avoided the tree a little bit this time I mean it, t you know technically I guess he could have put this this blitzer on the LOS and he could have tried to GFI and stuff and try to score in two or three and try to turn me over but it's pretty much over isn't it it's really asking a lot for dwarves to to score in this at, at like ten versus ten. It's asking a lot for them to score at all. Never mind score and then turn over. But I mean, he should have tried, right? He should have tried. I think he should have tried harder than he did to score. Like he hasn't really gone forward at all. Like I I I remember one time I played against the sage on fumble in a naf style tournament and uh, I had undead and he had he had wood elves and he outbashed me and turned me over and I ended up losing 3-0 just because I went stupid trying to trying to bring it back but I think you've got to try haven't you I guess yeah yeah the touchdown tiebreaker yeah maybe that was in his mind maybe that was in his mind to be fair let's not let's not be harsh on him yeah that, that, he could have definitely been thinking about the touchdown difference yeah for sure good point but I would have gone for it anyway. If I was 2-0 down, I would, I would have thought, fuck it, 3-0 is just as bad as 2-0. 
But yeah, he, he won his first round, so maybe he thinks cut his losses, try to get a two-one loss. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair, that's a fair, fair thing to think. Because I mean, if he went for the win, it, for the draw, he'd be a lot more likely to concede a third than he would be to score <laughs> if he tried for a two or three turn score, just because he would have to stretch the play and and get hit by dancers and stuff. So. Yeah, maybe, maybe it wasn't such a bad choice to just kind of settle for the loss. <laughs> mm. Well, in, in the Rebel, only one person can win all of his six games. So somebody with an imperfect record will qualify for sure. Now, whether that will have to be five wins in a draw, maybe it will have to be five wins in a draw. If it if that's the truth that it has to be five wins in a draw, then yeah, he should have absolutely gone balls out for the for the for the draw. If if you can maybe qualify with um five wins and a loss, then maybe maybe to save the touchdown difference. But then you know, when it comes to touchdown difference, dwarves are not the team for touchdown differences, are they? So um yeah, touchdown difference is the first uh is the first I double skulled, failed alone. <laughs> so, to be fair, that was a lazy turn. But really, when you look at it, that that looks like I was dumb, right? And did first action loner and failed. But when, <laughs> and it was a one in nine failure to be well, one in eighteen with a reroll. But when when you look at it, he could have dodged, but it would have been a one in thirty six. He could have dodged, but it would have been a one in thirty six. So I'd like three guys that could have dodged away from non non tackle uh, with dodge. And you know, try to get the one dice on him, but I just, I just thought I'll just punch him. You know, it, it ties up an extra player, and although, it, although it was a bit of a stupid move, and I, I really didn't care at this point. I should have done because I should have been gone for the three nil, but I just really didn't care, and I just thought I'll just punch him. <laughs> didn't work out great. Back on the KO thing, and he's he's done his he's done his little potato, and he's knocking down half the team thanks to me turning over in the first action. Loads of blocks for him to make. I mean, although he didn't make any cas this game, he's made a lot of AV breaks and a lot of a lot of KOs. Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Thanks for that rotten blood. Maybe I should have turned that one off, eh? Uh, so there you go. So despite despite turning over first action, getting three players stunned and two players knocked out, it's still an easy two dice on the ball. Just elf things, isn't it? I mean, like, how stupid is that? Four players possible to activate. <laughs> Double score. <laughs> Get the pow. Get the AV break. That really kills his chances of getting a draw. Because he could have technically scored on turn 15 and then like got a blitz or a riot to get the defensive score. And I even get the scoring threat out then to uh, to maybe win 3-0. Pick it up with a dancer. Happy days. <laughs> it's really stupid, isn't it? <laughs> it's really stupid how, how dwarves just have to battle to get that far and then elves are like, nah. I didn't even try to stand up the tree, which was uh, pretty stupid. I was pretty, pretty poor not standing up the tree. I just completely forgot about him because he'd been so inept. Maybe, maybe I didn't. Maybe he failed to pick up. Maybe he failed the stand up roll. But I think I just forgot about him. I thought at the time I'd forgotten about him, so I probably forgot about him. So he goes for the scoring threat, seeing as uh, you know, touchdown difference is a thing. Fails the GFI. Got a chance to score. Got a chance to score. 
and get the 3 0. So, yeah, blitzing him is better than dodging, isn't it? Even though he's got wrestle. Blitzing without anything. Still got the re roll. So, there's a cheeky chance of the. Uh, of the 3 0. Double one. So, <laughs> that was a shame. That was pretty good till they roll ones. Uh, but now he's got a chance to get the. Uh, to get the 2 1 loss. <laughs> improve his. Uh, improve his touchdown difference. I think he misclicks here. Yeah, he moves him in first, so he's, he's got a blitz from the wrong direction, so he just misplayed, and he's like, oh shit. Um, oh no, 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 no. It was still okay. It was still okay, he just literally clicked on the wrong button. That was it, yeah, it was still okay to push him that way. But it not as good, it's still not as good. He still should have hit him that way, so he could have gone straight forward. But pushing him here would have meant that he'd have to go around the side. So he stu he did misplay. He should have been stood here and blitz from there. But he just literally misclicked and uh, didn't took the boat down. <laughs> Which means that he just has to go for the pass here. And then the elves get a, a vanity a vanity intercept on the <laughs> at the end. <laughs> so I mean really crazy match. Four AV breaks into two cars is obviously crazy. And uh even though he made twice as many bucks. Eight KOs um, doesn't tell the whole story because a lot of them stayed out for the second half and it was it was it was scary, but managed to pull through in the end just because L's rolling two pluses. So that was that was alright, wasn't it? So two and all now in Rebel and a and a vague chance. I will link all the uh, the standings and stuff and down below so thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic